413 on the Dave Elliott Show. We're joined now by Robert Wiener, Democratic strategist, former uh, aide and counsel to presidents, uh, congressmen, including our own Claude Pepper here in uh, in uh, Florida. And, oh, my God, Bob, so many others. I don't well, know. I don't know where to start. I, you know, I just love talking to you because you are so passionate uh, <laughs> uh, about what you believe. And I want to start, I'm going to throw you a little Thanks. tiny curveball. I want to start the president's interview with Matt Lauer last night. Right, I saw pieces of it. One of the things that he said is he deserves a second term and he thinks he's right. learning to be a better president as time goes on. Do you agree with both of those things? Well, of course I do. Uh, the man <laughs> is honest. He doesn't claim he knows it all yeah. and he claims he's learning. But, you know, I'd much rather have a community, you know, they, they, they knock them. I'd much rather have a community organizer who, com- who cares about the people, and that's his driving mission is to right. help people, than a Wall Street insider who's, whose main mission is to cut his own tax breaks and those of his rich buddies. All right. what, a, what, a, what a difference. And Romney is in such deep doo-doo now because the economy is improving. We've had 24 straight months of job improvement after losing 750000 a month under Bush, losing $4 million under Bush, and, and Obama has climbed us out of the bubble, pushed things forward, uh, and, uh, and, and well, you know, let me it ask doesn't you leave question. Romney anywhere to go. Well, let me ask you a question about that. Isn't the, 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 the sort of a, the con- I, I hate to say conventional wisdom because that's not correct, but sort of the overriding message you're hearing is that Obama has really not helped this recovery. He, in fact, has slowed it down. How can that be proven? Well, it's just garbage. Uh, by saving the financial institutions, what, Romney, the financial institutor, didn't want to save the financial institutions? He said he wanted Detroit to go bankrupt. And you know what? Now, guess what? GM is back to number one in the world because Obama did exactly the opposite of what Romney wrote in the Wall Street Journal we shouldn't do. So this guy wants to let housing go bust. He said let foreclosures go to the bottom. That's really great for Florida, by yeah. the way, with all the foreclosures, to let everybody lose their houses. Yeah. I mean, this guy's an idiot. All he wants to, He's made his career on making money and costing jobs and not caring about people. I'm not concerned about the very poor. What kind of an idiot politician says that? Well, I, I, want you to, I don't want you to hold back, Bob. I want you to tell me <laughs> how, you, how you really feel about this. But I wanted to talk about the jobs numbers last week. The numbers yeah, came out. Yeah, 250,000. Much higher, gains. much higher than people thought, and, um, and still not enough to get us, you know, to get us into a positive mode. But um, a lot of what people, does that mean, Dave? Well, what We've it means is, what it, I know, but what it means is, you know, they're looking at having to have what three hundred and fifty thousand jobs a month before we consider that to be, you know, what I mean, uh, a sustainable and and creating oh, new I jobs. I don't know about that. Clinton you know, gained two hundred thousand a month and gained twenty three right. million jobs during the course of his presidency. If Obama gets us back on the track of a couple hundred thousand a month. We're going to be doing just fine, and yeah. uh, I don't know who came up well, with those well, numbers. Well, it must how, be Republicans. How do you? <laughs> no doubt. How do you answer uh, the uh, the thought then that what we have right now is a slower than might be anticipated uh, uh, improvement? Well, I'll tell you what the reason is for that. Trickle down doesn't work, and Obama, in the spirit of governing the country, agreed to some of the Republicans' rich tax cuts, and now yeah. wishes he hadn't done it. And I've done op-eds in the Miami Herald and the Palm Beach Post and, and all over the place, and most recently in the Naples paper. Uh, but I've, I've done op-eds uh, showing that if you graph the uh, tax, rich tax breaks, cuts philosophy, presidents, you get a 1.5% GDP growth. But if you do the traditional Democratic people programs and targeted tax breaks for middle and lower, you get a 5.5%. Yeah. You get almost four times the GDP growth. So if it's slower, it's because Obama gave 160 amendments for tax breaks to the Republicans in the health bill. He kept giving tax breaks. The recent debt bill and the recent keep government going bills, the ones that he's compromised on, all have had 40% of these stupid rich tax breaks. Now we've learned our lesson. It doesn't work. Of course, it hadn't worked since Herbert Hoover tried it in the, you know, after the during the Depression, and Roosevelt had to reverse it. So rich tax breaks don't work because guess what? Rich guys, the very rich, the billionaires, don't spend the money on jobs for people. You know what works for jobs for people? Jobs for people. Yeah, and, uh, and that's something right now that is slowly but surely it seems to be coming back. That's correct. Yeah. And the targeted tax breaks where the people who need the money can spend it, middle and lower, 
those work. That's what Jack Kenny did. People say Jack Kenny did tax breaks, but he did proportionally. He did the middle and lower, and he had a jobs program coupled with it. The Republicans won't let any jobs program, even for first offenders, for firefighters, police, for teachers. He, they won't let any of that go through. They obstruct, they filibuster. So that's what Obama means when we don't want to go back to the very things and the deregulation of Wall Street, which, which good God, Romney and Gingrich both want to repeal the, the, the uh, fact of, of the oversight of Wall Street and the oversight of the health insurance companies. They want, to, they want to repeal that stuff. I mean, they're bought and sold by big, big, big business, not even middle and small business. And that's an outrage. Nobody wants to do and by the way, Dave, that's why the new polls are coming out and Obama's nine up now. And the, and the polls show by 20 points people think the Republican Congress ha- has been obstructing the things that would put the country forward and take us forward. Of course, we still so have, you don't give that up. We still have nine months to go, and uh, as yes, hard as it do, is to and, believe, and, and, and anything and, can happen, uh, obviously. Right. But I think you would agree that the momentum for the economy is, is improvement, and, and that, that obviously help, helps the incumbent president. I've maintained all along that the magic number is eight. If we get at or below 8% unemployment, it's going to be pretty hard for uh, anybody to say that uh, – that this administration um, has failed. And uh, I don't say that as a cheerleader for one side or the other. I say it because I think that is the magic number. That's the number that Obama himself talked about. No one really, including the president or any member of Congress on either side of the aisle, has any way of prognosticating what what a given unemployment rate will be on a given day. And I know he's getting beaten up a lot by saying it would never go above 8%. But how, how really does anybody know? They don't. Well, you, you, you don't. Yeah. I mean, he's, he admits the fact that he didn't realize the depth and the danger of, yeah. of the Bush crash uh, actions uh, that, you know, he came in and inherited and the bubble jacked up at 750000 a month for his first couple of months until he reversed the bubble yeah. with, with different policies. So that's the reason that we're, we're at 8-3 now. Um, you know, he, he, the track has been two points down since he took office. So that's a good thing, you know. After you discount yeah. the first two months, that really were Bush's. What do you policies. think? Uh, what we, do you? We've th- gone down two percent. Now we got to go down more. Look, I want to be at five. I want to be at four. I want to be at three percent unemployment. There's some things that we can't control, though. The Republicans also are pushing this outsourcing. Mitt Romney made his money in Switzerland and the Bahamas, you know, and the companies that are outsourced. Let me. Uh, so I, 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 I mean, that we we can't control, and that's where the jobs went. I, I, I've only got a minute left, but I wanted to ask you one quick question. What do you think? Uh, could be a, a bad. I, I'm going to ask it to you in the in the negative. But what do you think would be a, a, a misstep that Obama should not make if he intends to be reelected? What well, things should he, he not over-promise do? Overpromise on the economy because Europe could send us uh, and be a real impact against us. That, there are some things we can't control. Although he's really been trying to work the Europeans also, yeah. because it is now a somewhat world economy. So he's got to be very careful. And, I, and in the Matt Lauer interview, I was a little concerned that you know I deserve to win re-election. I didn't hear the. And I'm, and I'm concerned that the economy might not improve as much as we want, and we're going to keep at it. I didn't hear the, the, the little bit of qualifier that I would have liked yeah. to hear. All right. I understand that you are going to be in town on February 25th, if I got that right? Uh, yes. At speaking at the Democratic uh, Club of Naples' big uh, fundraiser they do every year. Well, it's the Jefferson Jackson Dinner, right. and uh, it's, that's a highlight for any uh, organization across the country and I'm very honored to be there. And Dave, in the spirit of full disclosure, you're going to be the MC. So I, I, yeah, I've I, been asked to MC that, and I, I, there are very few events I turn down, and you know, un, unless they're immoral, illegal, or uh, fattening, <laughs> uh, I, I generally go for that. And I guess Rod Smith, yes. who's the state Democratic chairman, will yep. be there too. So that should be a fun night. Yes, and and I really look forward to seeing you and to, and right. seeing your family and uh, and and being with you and uh, being with the great people of your of your area. Uh, because I, I really love going back to Florida since as we opened the show, you remember I was chief of staff for Claude Pepper. Claude Pepper, so right. Look forward to coming back. I, I, you know, I can never remember. I, I knew it was the two J's. Jefferson, what is it? Jefferson, Jefferson Jackson. Jackson. I can never remember the name of that. For some reason, I have a mental block on that. <laughs> All right, well, uh, uh, Bob's website is wienerpublic.com if you want to check out. You have a lot of uh, your op-eds right. there and different yeah, things. Yeah, W-E-I-N-E-R. And W-E-I, right. Like, the, like your, uh, your, what is it, fourth cousin twice removed? Well, like Jay Leno said, only Shayla. in the Clinton oral sex case would a wiener be testified. <laughs> I'm not even going there. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> All right, Bob, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks very much, Dave. You Bye. bet. Robert Wiener there on the uh, Dave Elliott Show this afternoon. You know, I've got to talk to him about just kind of opening up a little more and telling us how he really feels. 422. We'll be right back.